no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, they shot me right in the feels, folks. Hi, everyone. It's as... Wait, look. Hold on. If I do this... Oh, my God. What is that by his arm? Oh, my God. It's my knitted baby face that my mum did for me. Bad lads. As here from Heel vs. Babyface. Look. <laughs> You've seen the thumbnail. You've seen the title of the video. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The absolute mad lads did it. Uh, the CW have renewed Batwoman's for a season two. Look, I don't know what you're laughing at, because depending on how I feel after re after reviewing season one, uh, if it's just so so bad, I think I'll put season two behind the membership. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Who's laughing now? Yeah, the CW the renewed Batwoman. For season two. But. <laughs> but. The thing is. They've actually renewed. All of the ongoing Arrowverse titles. Which we're going to have a little look at today. And it's shocking. To see why. Uh, of course Arrow itself. Finishes in just a couple of episodes. It's got like a ten episode. Season eight run. And I think they've had eight. So far. And I believe next week. Is the uh, <laughs> is the return? Oh my god! Of Crisis on Infinite as right, parts four and five to finish it off. Not that anyone could possibly care anymore. So let's get into this, folks, because there's uh, there's a wee bit to discuss here. You know, it's it's quite interesting. So there we go. CW renews 13 series for next season, including all ongoing Arrowverse shows. So I did a video a little while ago saying that Batwoman was legitimately in danger of being cancelled. And the thing is, if this was any other network, it legitimately probably would have been cancelled. Legit. Not even hyperbolic. Not even bullshitty, not trying to push a narrative. It would most likely have been cancelled. Now, if it was on something like CBS, like Supergirl was, it's even debatable whether or not they thought it was worthy to put down to the CW. Because Supergirl didn't do the ratings that they wanted for season one on CBS, but it got saved. <laughs> no, 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 we didn't. It got saved by the CW. But Batwoman's ratings aren't even close <laughs> to anything. Sorry, I snotted out my nose and I was just too excited to talk about this horrible show. Uh, <laughs> anywhere close to what Supergirl was doing on CBS. So, these are the viewing figures for this season of Batwoman. This is its inaugural season, folks. Inaugural. It's first season now don't take into consideration the latest episode oh that's not fair as it just because it did the best well not the best actually it didn't do as good as episode one but it did a good viewing number you don't want to no 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 number one actually that's not particularly good comparative it is now this is the crisis on infinite as uh crossover episode this is an anomaly and we're going to go through some ratings in this video and you'll see that it does come across as anomaly on all of the shows. Uh, so don't take this into consideration. So just remove that. Look, after <laughs> eight episodes, it is barely clinging to a million viewers. And its demo has dropped from a 0.47 down to a 0.28. The demo is not great, but it's probably the only thing that's kind of when i say saving the show that's not true we'll go into what's saving the show spoilers everything shit <laughs> but the demo is is not okay 
So this is the first season ratings. Now, we have to understand that Supergirl got renewed. Flash got renewed. Black Lightning got renewed. And probably the most interesting is Legends of Tomorrow got renewed even before they've shown a single episode of this current season, which is a shorter run and has arrived months after all the others started. It's as if... Oh, no, 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 don't say it yet. Save that for the end. Uh, right, so, Supergirl. Bef this is Supergirl's current season ratings. 1.2 million to start with. Not good. This is season 5, though. So let's just be kind, because I do like Melissa Benoist. Uh, let's just be kind. It's got a bit of fatigue behind it, okay? So 1.2 million start, and then after that, until the Crisis episode, everything was sub 1 million viewers. Dropping down to 0 0.783, 0 0.792. Not good. Uh, not good at all. And look at that demo. 0 0.16, 0 0.19, 0 0.20. Demos in the toilet as well. Interestingly, the first part of Crisis got a 0 0.65 demo. Part 2 of Crisis, which was Batwoman, got a 0 0.60. So uh, there was a good drop-off on younger people. <laughs> Uh, after the first episode. Woo! Okay, we're out of here. So it's not performing well. This is Supergirl last season. This is season four of Supergirl. And it's kind of... I would say two-thirds of the season. It's doing between 1.1 and 1.2 on average. Okay? Fourth season. First season first season and that 0 0.310 is including of course the crisis so that took four seasons to get to that level well technically three on the cw but let's just say it took four seasons to get to that level batwoman has only gone through eight episodes and it's in the toilet dumpster of supergirl season four and season five renewed <laughs> oh, no, no. The Flash, which is on season six. Again, got some fatigue behind it now. But still, 1.6 to start, 1.2, 1.4, 1.45, 1.2, 1.3. So it's, it's, you know, it's the best performing show out of all of them. There's no point in doing Arrow because Arrow's finishing, by the way. So there's no point in even looking at Arrow. So it's doing the best out of all of them. Season six. Season six. It's poning this inaugural season tripe. And even last season. Look at these figures. They would kill for these figures now. <laughs> A two million start. 1.7. 1.9. 1.75. 1.7. 1.8. One point eight, one point six five, what one point nine? Oh my God! They would kill season five. Was it season five? Season five, Batwoman. Eight episodes, holding on to a million by the skin of its teeth. Renewed. Now then, Black Lightning. I haven't ever seen this show, so I can't comment on the quality of the show. I have seen Supergirl and dropped. I have watched The Flash dropped. I dropped on Supergirl after two seasons, two and a half seasons, I think. Um, first, second, I think a bit into the third, maybe. And then The Flash, I think I got, again, halfway through season three. Done. Uh, but Black Lightning, I haven't seen, so I can't comment. But, you know, these are the current... These are the current season ratings. That they're awful. I mean, look. Prior, I mean, this this one got a slight boost, even though Black Lightning didn't have a crisis crossover episode, because the CW are actually racist. 
Um, it did get a, a little bit of a, a bump because apparently, I think at the very end of the episode, there was a quick crisis tie-in because Black Lightning was then going to enter the, the crisis uh, shit. <laughs> but look at this, 1.52... 1. 1.6, 1. 1.7. Uh, sorry, naught. I'm giving it ones. What am I talking about? 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.6. They're, they're awful ratings. Uh, last season, it's, it's basically doing uh, nearly kind of like bat stuff, you know? But that was season two. But... Uh, it's kind of almost super. Uh, Black Woman is just performing better than season two of Black Lightning. Are you you kind of getting a pattern here? What I'm trying to say, folks, is the CW is failing so badly with its Arrowverse shows now that something that can barely hit a million is getting renewed because they have to, and it looks like they have nothing ready i mean we've got the super cuck show coming but they've destroyed this super i feel so bad for tyler how how hocklin oh i think i might have got it i think tyler i feel so bad for the actor because i think he's all right i think he's a decent you know but my god they have cucked that character he is a super cuck and he's getting his own show Oh my god, is it just going to be Lois browbeating him? Or the, who could be in... I mean, <clears throat> I will watch it for morbid interest. But when you've got something that's been as good as uh, Dean Cain's New Adventures of Superman and Lois from Lois and Clark from the 90s, then you... Well, it started off good. It, season 4, what the fuck? Anyway, uh, and then you had smallville which was really good for a, a consistent period of time before falling off the cliff at the end and then you're bringing super cuck oh man there's a there's a morbid fascination but my god that could that could die a death never mind so legends of tomorrow this is last season because this season hasn't even started last season one episode two Two episodes out of its 16 episode run, a short again, shorter season than the rest, just creep over a million. Everything else, no. Very consistent though. Very consistent because that is probably the only audience you're going to get <laughs> for that show. And the previous season, look, it's like chalk and cheese. It's like looking at two different shows from a decade ago. The previous season, which was season three, this would kill for those. Anyway, uh, season three, 1.4s, 1.3s consistently, 1.2, 1.5s, 5, 6s. Five, That's the crossover event. So, you, again, scratch those. Uh, 0.5s, 0.5s, 0.5s. The drop in CW viewership is astounding. And this is what you get. Garbage being renewed. Because everything is performing shit. <laughs> and they haven't got the shows to take over. Because they keep producing the same show. This is all one show. Written the same, look the same. Well, I'm going to take Black Lightning out of that. Okay, because I haven't seen Black Lightning. I have heard some people say it's slightly different because... They have separated it from the CW-verse, but I can't comment. So let's say Legends Tomorrow is Flash, Supergirl, Batwomans. They all feel identical. None of these shows have their own personality. None of these shows have diversity of character. And what I, what I mean by that is not gay and black. What I mean by that is characters feeling different. They immediately put the main character out there and within... One season, most often, it's suddenly an ensemble show. And the hero loses its mystique because the hero just gets caught up in this wave of everybody's got to be on parity with one another. Nobody's special. Nobody stands out. Particularly the straight white men. 
So this is why shows like Batwoman get renewed. Renewed due to consistent failure of shows. Give me spoiler. Give me spoiler. Greg, I know you're failing upwards, but Greg, give me a call. Give me spoiler. Give me spoiler and Tim Drake. I'll write you an awesome show. One that isn't like this shite. Give me spoiler and Tim Drake. Uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links though in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now. Oh my god. Oh, f my ass. I've just had a thought. Oh no. I've just had a thought. The bringing in Stargirl. The bringing in Stargirl. Ah, uh, they've run the trailers for it. So Stargirl's probably going to take the place of Arrow.